Every dollar sent home from the diaspora by your loved ones represents their hard work and commitment to ensuring that you're all taken care of. That's why we want to ease their experience and make it more convenient. With Sasai Money Transfer, sending money from the diaspora is free and you receive the money straight into your EcoCash USD wallet, ready for you to spend and cash out for free. That way, you can receive money to help you alleviate the impact of the drought on you and your family. Buy groceries, pay school fees, renew your insurance, pay bills and more within a few taps on your phone. And you're guaranteed access to USD cash from any registered EcoCash outlet nationwide. Tell your family in the diaspora to send money with Sasai Money Transfer today. Let's fight the El Nino induced drought together. EcoCash, live life the EcoCash way. The views expressed by our guests in the following video are solely the opinions of our guests and do not necessarily reflect the views and or opinions of the Ola 7 podcast show. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome to yet another episode of the Genius Kids Show. My name is DJ Ola7 Owen. We're Kwama Donda on the Ola7 Podcast Show. And tonight we've got a different, you know, guest all together. This one now is more talented when it comes to playing different instruments, you know, violin, your recorder, your some of the things I don't even know the names. And Bira, you know, she's here to tell us more. Her name is April. Or April, I don't know how to pronounce pronounce this, but yeah, you know the month of month of April, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's here, the owner of the name. I'm not April, the month April. She's here. Hello, April. How are you? I'm fine, and you? <laughs> I'm all right, thanks. So tell us your full name. My name is April Moyo. April Moyo. Yes. And you how, you're how old? I am 12 years old. 12 years old from Samuel Centenary. Yes. So last week we had uh, someone again uh, from Samuel Centenary and she was just, you know, amazing, uh, you know, a scientist. And you're here uh, today to tell us more about, okay, before we get it, I mean, go any further or whatever, just tell us a, a bit about Samuel Centenary, your school. Samuel Centenary has very loving people. Mm -hmm. They make you feel at home. Mm -hmm. Okay. They're, they're very friendly people. Mm -hmm. They care for you. They are like your parents mm -hmm. at school. Yes, yes. yes. So, um, I want to understand a few things um, about music and everything, because I know that's your area, okay? Yes. But let's talk about your family. How many are you in your family? Uh, well, we are four. There's uh -huh. my mom, my dad, my little sister, and I. I'm mm -hmm. the firstborn. You're the firstborn. Oh, okay. This is different now. Because last week, uh, when I uh, spoke to, um, what's her name? What's her name? Jolene. Jolene, yes. She told me that she's the last born and you are the first born. So there's a difference there, being the last and the first. So tell me, you know, about how it feels to be the first one. Usually, like... When the last born is naughty, right? Yes. The parent, the parent will come to you and say, you were the eldest. Where were you? Exactly. So then <laughs> you are the one who gets the punishment. Hey. And then the younger one is oh. left alone. Yeah. So sometimes you yeah, squeeze the ears and everything. Eh? I say, you know, because if I let you do this, I will be in trouble. Okay. So that may be... That's where this word deputy parent comes from, right? Yes. Okay. No, that's, that, that's understandable. And what's your favorite uh, subject at school? Favorite subject at yeah. school? Yeah. As in academics? Yeah, academics. 
That would be science. As science? Well. Yeah. So all of you, uh, you're a scientist. Jalen, a scientist, and you, a scientist as well. So you, you, you understand it better? Not as in like better, uh -huh. but I do understand. You do understand it. Okay, no, that's fine. So t tell me about your favorite teacher. Mr. Chari. Mr. Our Chari. music teacher. Uh, your music teacher? Yes. Because you love music? Yes, yes. Okay, okay. Mr. Chari, big shout out to you. I know you're watching. And April, tell yes. me something. How many instruments do you play and list them? Okay. I play the xylophone, mm -hmm. the recorder, I sing, mm -hmm. the violin, the mbira, the marimba, the shakers, wow. the drum set, mm. the African drum, as well as the keyboard. Okay, you, also, you can also play the keyboard. Yes. So many instruments. Wow, that's good. So how did it all start? Well, it started when my family and I were watching mm -hmm. a show where this three-year-old boy could yes. play the violin. Mm -hmm. And I said, if... He could do such at a young, tender age. Why uh -huh. can't I? Uh -huh. I asked them, may you please buy me the violin? Yes. As well. Uh -huh. Then they started gathering up money for it. Yes. And then on, on, my, on, the, on my 10th birthday, they surprised me with it. 10th yes. birthday. 10th birthday. And you said you're how old now? 12. 12. Okay. So two years ago. Yes. Yes. It's a surprise. How did you react? I was very happy. <laughs> I could not believe it. Yes. Yes. No, I understand. So did you learn all, uh, uh, all this from school or you were born like that? All these instruments? Both. Both? Well, I, I grew up with that music talent planted in yes. me. Yes. But... As I went to school, the mm -hmm. school shaped me up to know more mm -hmm. about the instruments. Yeah. So how old were you when you first uh, started playing, you know, music? Ten. Ten? Ten years old. Wow. No, that's good. That's amazing. So what are the first instruments you learned to play? The violin. The violin. <laughs> so I, I'm sure now you're an expert. Not as such. Uh -huh. But, yeah. <laughs> What inspired you, or maybe who inspired you to start playing music? So, besides that three-year-old boy, mm -hmm. I was watching kids say the darnest things with my mom. Yes. There was this Japanese band, uh -huh. music band, uh -huh. that, had, that had different instruments like the cello, the violin, mm -hmm. the piano. There were children playing those instruments, younger than me, mm -hmm. some even five years old. Whoa. Ranging from three years old to nine. Uh -huh. And I would pretend like I was holding the violin. Yes. Actually playing it. Yes. So before they got me the violin, I actually knew how to, you know. To play? Yes. Really? Yes. Just from watching that thing? Yes. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. No, that's, that's amazing. So can you tell us about your, you know, your, your daily practice routine? <clears throat> Well, I don't really have a daily practice routine. Mm -hmm. um, as an exam candidate, our, teach, our class teachers, our academic teachers need us to revise and revise mm -hmm. because we're writing this year. Yes. Grade 6. Yes, grade 6. Mm -hmm. So if you're writing Cambridge, if you write grade 6, there's no grade 7, right? No, there's no grade oh, yeah. 7. Uh, so if I'm... T if I am supposed to be practicing. Mm -hmm. I'll take Friday as the day to practice. Mm -hmm. Once a week. Because Friday is half day. We okay. School starts at 8, end at 1. Mm -hmm. And from 1 to 3, 4 o'clock thereabout, classes will still be open. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of a naughty person. Yes. I sneak into the music room <laughs> and then play. A bit. Okay. Yeah. Then after that, you go home. I'm a boarder. Then I go back to the... Oh, hostel. today. Oh, okay. No, I, I see. So how do you balance school and your music practice? Besides me practicing on Friday, I can use the lunch mm -hmm. time slot. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't take the whole hour eating. Yes. So if I eat for 10 minutes, what will 
I be doing for the next 15 minutes besides mm-hmm. making noise in class. Yeah. <laughs> so um with those 50 minute 50 minutes at lunch I can mm-hmm. go to the music room mm-hmm. and play a few instruments mm-hmm. before I go back to class. Okay. So how do you choose which instrument to practice, you know, on a given day? You know, it's very hard for me to choose. Mhm. All of the instruments are my best friends. Oh, I see. It's very hard to uh-huh. choose, honestly. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But if I were to choose one, mm-hmm. maybe the marimba. Marimba. <laughs> so, have you have you composed any you know original pieces? If so, maybe you can tell us about one of them. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, I have composed a song. About life. Mm-hmm. Title, Life is a Forest. Mm-hmm. The song talks about how the challenges you might face in life mm-hmm. come unexpected. Like, imagine you're in the Amazon forest. Mm-hmm. You can expect anything. Anything, yeah, anything. true. Mm-hmm. Um, it'll be talking about how life is a roller coaster. Mm-hmm. Like, right, you know, a wheel. Yeah. Right? So, today, you can be on the top of the wheel. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow, you'll be at the bottom. Yeah. And like my mom says, when you're at the top of the wheel, do not treat others like trash. Mm-hmm. Because tomorrow when you're at the bottom of the wheel, right, yeah. you will be pleading for help from them. Mm, yes. So imagine if you treat them like trash mm-hmm. on the day that you're on top. Yes. Would you, um, then you expect them to treat you this uh, nicely. When you're at the bottom. Yes. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Yeah. So the moral to this song is... Treat others the way you want them to treat you. To treat you. Yes. Well done, man. That was so powerful. That was so powerful. I'm sure that you guys are learning. I'm sure you're taking some notes from April because she's just teaching us one or two things here. You know, this is why I love the Genius Kids show. I just love the kids, you know. Um, I get you so much. The guy wanna digwa egwan diri ne wuti umambo he wuti anga de wau ne so pano tnoti the guy wanna wada digwa we pano ne wuti umambo we Genius Kids. <laughs> so, you know, everything, everything that we do, there's never challenges here and there. Mm-hmm. So I want to understand what challenges have you faced in learning multiple instruments? Timekeeping. <laughs> yeah. Timekeeping in terms of, but you know, every instrument has its unique. Uh-huh. It's made in its unique way. Yes. It has its unique properties. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, for a certain instrument, for a song you're playing, mm-hmm. timing. Yes. To spot the notes, you exactly. know, Exactly, yes, mm, yes. That's yes. the challenge. Uh, but I, I, I would love to learn how to, pray, to, to play um, Bira. It must be difficult, right? No. It's not. Mm, the notes and the, the keys, you know. Actually, from Bira, you don't need to know the notes. Uh-huh. Do you know what you need to do? Uh-huh. Let me tell you a secret. <clears throat> so, how I practice in Bira. Uh-huh. Our music teacher, like, plays. Yes. Yes. The song. Mm-hmm. I have very good listening skills, you know. Oh, yes. So, I don't need to study mm-hmm. where to play. Exactly. I just play. Just like that. Just like that. Mm. For me, I need to just... <laughs> like, you know, look at you playing this one, playing this one, and and the other fingers will be <laughs> should be at the back, okay? The, the the finger, these four fingers should be at the back. The at the back, thumbs. Yes, okay. Yeah. Mm. I think you, I, I think you have to teach me one or two things. Okay. Yeah, sure. So, how do you overcome all these challenges? Right, I'm not the only one who mm-hmm. plays music. So, as an ensemble, right? An ensemble is like a group of people who play different instruments. Oh, okay. Different instruments that collaborate together. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. They, have their, they each have their time to shine. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, if we're playing an ensemble, and probably two or three mm-hmm. people have to play this exact same note with yes. the same timing. Yes. I either ask those people to help mm-hmm. me, or I ask the music teacher mm-hmm. okay. to help me. Mm-hmm. In keeping time, mm-hmm. in spotting the notes quickly yes. to keep time. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, do you have a mentor or a teacher who guides you? You know, in your musical journey. It's not a mentor. Mm-hmm. Mentors. 
mentors. It's not one. It's not one. <laughs> Tell me about that. So I'm gonna start with um, my parents. Mm-hmm. My parents have been with me ever since the start of my musical journey. Yes. So let me tell you the story. As soon as I got my violin, mm-hmm. well, not as soon, but let's just say two, one week, two weeks yes. after, uh-huh. they enrolled me into a music school. Okay. Um, then I sup- we would learn one song mm-hmm. per session. Yes. Each, each se- session was one hour long. So in that one hour, we learned one mm-hmm. song. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I was really curious. If I did this, what would happen? Mm-hmm. Yes. If I played this, what would happen? Exactly. So they would give us sheet music. Mm-hmm. We read notes. Okay. And they would like give us the whole book of mm-hmm. sheet music. Mm-hmm. And with the songs that we didn't even practice, mm-hmm. play. So one day I was curious. I was very good at sight reading. Mm-hmm. So you also read at the beginning of the sheet music. Mm-hmm the song you're playing yeah there's like a speed guide mm-hmm. it's called tempo yeah you read the tempo and then you read the notes and the staff mm-hmm. yeah fun fact the staff is made of five lines wow five lines mm-hmm. yes i'm learning are you guys learning at home are you guys learning i'm sure you are learning i'm sure you know uh because She's actually take, t- telling us and teaching us how to play m- music in different ways. I mean, different instruments as well. So, in that this out in Bira, my fingers back, then the thumbs. <laughs> and she's explaining a lot. So, how uh, do your family and friends support your musical talent? Because I'm sure support your musical Like you said, you've got you know, mentors. But I want to understand from your family part. And friends. Family and friends. I'm still a family. Mm-hmm. For family, music, I think, this is what I think. Mm-hmm. I think music has run in our family for generations. Mm-hmm. Because my my mom can sing. My dad can, can harmonize. Mm. When he hears a song, straight away can harmonize. I- Exactly. Does not need to study. Exactly. As well as my sister. Mm-hmm. My sister plays the recorder. Mm-hmm. And she really wants to learn how to play the violin as well. Yes. Um, so in the support that they're giving me, they're telling me, you need to be an all-rounded person. Yes, yes. Not just in music. Mm-hmm. You know, but with the different opportunities you're, mm-hmm. Giving, mm-hmm. you're given, don't just stick to one. Mm-hmm. Be an all-rounded person, discover new things. Exactly, yes. Don't just say I play bira only. Mm, bira, bira only. a guitar, yes. violin, mm. marimba. So yeah. they said, don't limit yourself. Yes, true. Because you may never know. Mm-hmm. Mm, that's the that, that's the support they are giving you. Yeah, they are motivating you. I I I like that. So have you ever performed in front of an audience? You know, front of people. Yes. Mm-hmm. Where? Oh, um, I. During the time when I was enrolled into a music school, mm-hmm, that mm-hmm. time I was homeschooled by my mom. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So there was this event mm-hmm. called I Stead For It. Yes. I sang, I played the recorder mm-hmm. and the violin. Yes. So those were three performances. Yes. And then there was one this year mm-hmm. for National Adult Arts mm-hmm. in first term for the violin. Yes. And last time again, I was performing for the Zion Christian Church. Mm. Oh, yeah, Zion now, yeah. City, city Sports Center. Yes, yeah, City Sports Center, yeah, I remember. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So how was the experience? <coughs> it was hard racing. Uh-huh. Hard racing. There were more than 1,000 eyes looking <laughs> at you. The beast, the, like, right, you're on a stage, right? Yes. The audience is there. Yes. And more than 1,000 eyes are looking at you. <laughs> just you on stage. Yeah. And then, like, you know, for some other people, I have stage right? uh-huh. So, you know, imagine, like, it's, it's you, right? Mm-hmm. And you're nervous. Mm-hmm. Your legs you're are shaky. You're shaky. Yes. Your heart is racing. Yay. No, but for me, I was not like that. Uh-huh. Mm. You were just chilled. Chilled. Okay. You know, but there's sometimes for me when I get nervous, mm-hmm. 
But just use the breathing technique. Yes. Helps. So you have to breathe in. Five seconds hold, breathe out. Are you faint, my guy? Five seconds, you're like, B. <laughs> <laughs> the no, better is no five more. Se- five, five seconds. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, no, I see. And which, you know, performance has been the most memorable for you and why? The National Allied Arts for the violin. Mm-hmm. Because <clears throat> for me, the it's really memorable because the violin was the first instrument mm-hmm. that my parents yes. bought me. And yes. I got to learn first. Mm-hmm. So it was a birthday gift. Mm-hmm. Yes. You know, a yeah. uh, nickname for my violin is it's my child. So. Oh, my child. Yes. <laughs> I have to take care of it. Yes, <clears throat> sure. So... It was memorial because I was playing the first instrument I got to learn. Mm-hmm. It was a birthday gift. Yes. And yes. how much effort my parents took to, to getting me this instrument. Yes. It was very nice. Mm. And it's expensive, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, if I didn't it's it's expensive. Wow. So what do you enjoy you know most about playing music? It's it calms me down. Mm-hmm. It's soothing. For example. Maybe if you were a musician. Yes, yeah. And you were like really stressing about work, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You would get your instrument mm-hmm. and play one or two things. It washes off the, you know, the stress. Mm, yeah, I see. And I don't understand. How do you express your emotions, you know, April? Uh, your emotions through your music. <clears throat> If uh, through composing, mm-hmm. through just listening, yeah. listening, even. Mm-hmm. okay, through playing, mm-hmm. 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 yeah. <clears throat> so you know, it is believed music is uh, therapeutic, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, can you tell us about uh, a time when music helped you or others through difficult situations? For me, like. <clears throat> When I'm not really, you know, doing good in academics, Mm -hmm. as I said, I'm a very naughty one. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I'm usually on Fridays, Mm -hmm. I sneak into the music. Right. I sneak into the music. Yeah. Play one or two things, Mm -hmm. washes down, you know. Like the music, the the instruments speak to me. Mm. They speak, you know, they are preaching, saying, ah. Uh uh-uh, uh, mm-hmm. don't be sad. Yes. You know, this is life does is not easy. Mm-hmm. There are good times and bad times. Mm-hmm. You can be up or down. And down. And right now you're down. So listen to my words. Mm-hmm. It will be speaking saying, um they'll be saying you still have time to perfect. Mm-hmm. You know, tomorrow mm-hmm. there's still tomorrow. Yes. You can perfect uh Yesterday is April. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yes. Wow. So I believe instruments mm-hmm. can talk. Mm. This is just amazing. This is so profound. Guys, I'm talking to you April here on the uh, Ola 7 Podcast Show, the Genius Kids Show. I love this one. And I'm sure you are getting inspired as well. Kumbau. Comments, comment section, subscribe. Don't forget to do that, please. Um to Tim Repa Samuel Centenary Primary uh here Munomarariga, whatever builds with Diap. I'm sure, you know, Kunim Academics. You know, even my talents are even away you. To go to Manabout was the out music, you know, so my instruments are Siana Siana, Zese Zipo. I'm sure I'm not going to change my manager. I'm going to end up a serious itinerary. A good is we if I be like a dagger. So how do you keep yourself motivated to practice every day, April? Through my parents' words, I just um remember it like it mm-hmm. was yesterday. Yes, <clears throat> they were telling me <clears throat> be an all-rounded person. Yes. Don't focus on one thing, mm-hmm. da porter. Don't focus on one thing. <laughs> I like that. You can't just, you know, mm-hmm. focus on the violin. Yes. Tumbira, mm-hmm. xylophone, yes. guitar, yeah. drums. You mm-hmm. know, mm-hmm. because talent doesn't come in one thing. Yes. It comes 
in different different ways in different yeah. Ways. yeah yeah so for me to be able to be motivated to practice every day try out new things mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. new instruments yeah Oh, I understand. And it's an analogy. Trouble you tender, Mama. We have to thank your mom. Say, Mom, please keep on pushing April to do more. Okay. So, would you want to collaborate with um, you know any artist one day, <laughs> or maybe you have got uh, maybe somebody in particular? Maybe you t- okay. I want this one. Um. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know, the other day, <clears throat> I. Thought of myself mm-hmm. at such a young tender age, mm-hmm. um, playing the violin mm-hmm. for Man- um, Amara Brown, yes. Tammy Moyo, wow. Beyonce. Yes. <clears throat> then I came. I self introspected. Mm-hmm. Ah, if mm-hmm. you can think about it, yeah. why not act it? You know, mm, true. You can't just think and just mm-hmm. stay. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. Still like that. Mm-hmm. Think, then act. Yes. yes. So you'd want to to to, <clears throat> to 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 perform or to collaborate with Amara or uh, Tami Moyo? Yeah, I mean, yes. Mm-hmm. I mean, the sky is the limit. Do not limit yourself. So why not? Yes. Actually, fun fact: <clears throat> if Pop Marley was alive, mm-hmm. I would really, 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 mm-hmm. really, mm-hmm. really love <laughs> to collaborate with him. Bob Marley, why? Because. <clears throat> He sings mm-hmm. um, songs that are meaningful. Mm. To save, you know, stop war. Yes. Why fight? Why fight? Yeah. He sings meaningful things. Mm. That's, that's, that's great. That's great. Okay, I'll try to do a magic here. Um, I'll call Amara Brown so that you guys can make something together. Uh, oh, Tammy Moyo. I talk to both of them, right? So I'll call him, and uh, whoever is ready to work with you, will call you. Thank you. That would be amazing, right? Yes. Okay, I'll do that for you. And I'll do for you and your school, tell you all are saving a phone out to you. So you'll be part of the Amara Brown song, or even video, playing your violin. Amara, you know, in time, whatever, very artistic when, it comes to their things. They are, you know, very creative and everything. So I'll, I'll, I'll just make sure, Guti, you, you you work with these guys. Okay. So how do you prepare for a performance, you know, or a music competition? Practice. <laughs> In capital letters. <laughs> Should I spell it for you? Yeah. Capital P. Uh-huh. Capital R. Yes. Capital A. Yes. Capital C. Wow. Capital <laughs> capital I, capital C, yes. capital E. Wow. Practice. 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 Always. And the practice makes perfect. Okay. So, what's the hardest piece of uh, music you've learned uh, to play? Among all the instruments mm-hmm. I've played. The What Shall We Do with, with the Drunken Sailor mm-hmm. played on the violin. Okay. Hey, tempo. <laughs> Tempo. Yeah. And then you have to keep up with the finger. Yeah. Fingering. Yeah. Tempo. Yeah. The speed will be like. Uh-huh. And then uh-huh. with fingering, you have to be. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fast uh-huh. piece. One of the fastest pieces mm-hmm. I've mm-hmm. ever had to play. Mm-hmm. Of which I'm still, you know, trying to get yes. to that yeah. speed. But mm-hmm. I'll mm-hmm. get there. Okay, there. Yeah, I understand. So, like your mom say, always say, okay, be an all rounder. Don't limit yourself. Do you plan to learn more? Um, I mean, instruments in the future. Why? Yes. <laughs> Capitalize. <laughs> Capitalize. <laughs> Which instrument? Hmm. I've got a collection. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Hear me out. The cello, mm-hmm. the guitar, mm-hmm. the piano, the ukulele, mm-hmm. the saxophone. Yes. You and love the, to learn what's those. called? The harp. The what? The harp. Oh, I don't know that one. It's like, it looks a bit like a guitar, mm-hmm. but then it's not a guitar. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So what advice would you give to other kids who want to learn multiple instruments? Do not limit yourself. Mm-hmm. Please, take my advice. Mm-hmm. Be an all-rounder. Mm-hmm. Don't focus on one thing. Mm-hmm. Because, you know... <clears throat> 
if you're able to play all those instruments, mm-hmm. it'll be easy for you to slip into mm-hmm. a band mm-hmm. knowing all those instruments. Yeah. So you can say, ah, there's one, there's space for you to play guitar. Yes. You'll be knowing the guitar. Exactly. There's place for you to play the saxophone. Yes. You'll be knowing how yes. to play the saxophone. Mm-hmm. So please do not limit yourself. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's powerful. Do not limit yourself. Says April. Like guys, I say, yes, we are talking to April, but at the same time, we are talking to you guys and also, you know, inspiring you guys uh, to start something new. Music, Ziza guitar, Ziza violin, Ziza chichi, Zingo daro, Zingo daro, Zingo daro. So, April, how do you stay creative and come up with, you know, new uh, musical ideas? Well, my parents introduced me to different genres mm-hmm. of music. Mm-hmm. So, I borrow different ideas. Oh, yes. And make them into my own. Make something new. Mm-hmm. A hybrid. Yes. Yeah. Oh, hybrid. Yes. <laughs> what role does, uh, you know, improvisation, uh, improvisation, yes, play in your um, music practice? <clears throat> to improvise. Hey. Well, like I've been saying, <clears throat> I am a naughty one. <laughs> if like I like I remember, yes, I remember the notes. Uh-huh. But to play to what's this called? To remember the playing exactly. technique. Yes. Uh, let me like, uh, uh, let me just so maybe you, know, you to tune it, something. Exactly. And, and also record at the same time. Uh, While if you're playing, maybe record so that so that you don't forget the the tempo and everything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I'll tune mm-hmm. and do something of my own. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And also find like notes that harmonize with mm. each other. Oh yeah. While others are playing this, mm-hmm. or play my some yes. something of my own. Mm. Okay. Do you have a favorite uh, genre? Which one? Reggae. Reg- Why reggae? Why reggae? I love reggae. By the way. Um. Bob Marley sings reggae. Mm-hmm. And as I said, he sings meaningful things. Yes. And really, like from my Perspectives. Reggae is is a very soothing genre. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I will tell you something, um, April. Yes. It's very interesting that you love reggae at your age. It's it's really, you know, surprising that at your age you listen to reggae music these days. Um, especially in our country here in Zimbabwe, um, young people of your age they listen to probably a piano. Uh, ah. Also, probably Zim Danzo, uh, <laughs> <laughs> hip hop, you know, not reggae. Ah, well, the reason why I love reggae, my dad plays it a lot. Mm. And then, so when he was playing it, I realized, ah, ah this reggae, exactly. ah, this reggae is nice. <laughs> so, let me you know, set aside the yeah. other genres. Yeah. Reggae is mine. Reggae. But here in Zimbabwe, who is your favorite artist in Zimbabwe? Here in Zimbabwe, mm-hmm. Rose Mambo. Rose Mambo. Yes. Wow, Rose Mambo. There we go. I wish I could play the <laughs> the sound effects, but it's okay. Well, you know, the big big funny again, Panaba. So, how do you incorporate you know different genres into your playing? As I said, <clears throat> like I said before, I borrow. Mm-hmm. Um, Ideas from mm-hmm. the different genres I listen to and know, mm-hmm. and cook it mm-hmm. up into something different, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. something unique. From like, yeah, like a mix up mm-hmm. of genres. Mm-hmm. And I've been reading some comments, you know, from from our viewers. There, one would want to know how do you think playing multiple instruments has you know influenced your overall musicality. Well, it's, you know, it's very, like, very, very easy Mm -hmm. for me to, if, like, a, there was, like, a band, Mm -hmm. I would go in easily. Yeah. Easily. Because I know this instrument. Mm -hmm. I know that instrument. Yes. I'm not, I have, I have not limited myself. Yes. So, yeah, it's. You fit in anyway. You can fit in. Anyway. So if you give you Baba Macheso, you can still play there. 
if you give you Sulemani, you get to play there. Yeah. If you give you um, Felinandi, Winky D, you get to play. Wow. 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 So have you ever recorded your music? No. Mm-hmm. I'm planning to. I don't know when. When do you, th- when do you think you'd start to record? When I'm done with school. Mm-hmm. Right now, we're focusing on academics. Mm-hmm. Done. Music. Music. I have, this, I have actually made a model for myself. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Which one? Music for life. <laughs> That's yes. your motto. Yes. Music for life. So that means after academics, you'll be just doing music, 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 and music. Yeah. So you want to be a musician when you grow up? Yes. Full time. No, not full time. Mm-hmm. Also, you know, do, you know, be a businesswoman as well. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What is it what, that you want to do? I want to do um, business in the petroleum industry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Where in terms of like building fuel stations, preventing fuel theft mm-hmm. using a device called an anti-siphon. Anti-siphon. Yeah. petroleum, anti-siphon. So before you go in um, April... Um, I, I see you've got this one. What is it called, this one? A xylophone. Xylophone. Then you say this one is called what? A recorder. A recorder. This one is called a recorder. I thought, all along, I thought a recorder is just the device that we use to record voices, sound, whatnot, whatnot. And this one is a recorder, by the way, guys. I mean, we learn every day. Yeah, I'm learning. I've learned something today. Then there's a violin and... Mbira. Mbira. So... What what was the name of that stick that you'll be using to play violin? It's called a bow. A bow. Yes. Okay. Okay. So maybe play something. Am I playing all the instruments? I, yeah, I, I I I think you have to play the uh, one after the other. So okay. that yeah. I'm gonna start with mbira. Mbira. Okay. Take it away. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting, guys. I'm here to you to April Moyo from Samuel Centenary Primary School in Bevidia, uh, Harare. So yeah, she's an artist. She loves music and she knows how to play all these instruments: uh, xylophone, right? Yes. Mbira, uh, violin, you know, and a recorder. So let's see how she does it. So the title of the song I'm playing on Mbira is Mdara Chawe. Mdara Chawe. Job Razor! Okay, great. Oh yeah! <laughs> I thought maybe you were going to sing. You were going to sing as well. I have not yet learned how to uh, sing and play instruments. Okay. But next time I come back. Yeah. I'll know. Okay, great. So let's let, let's let's feel the the violin. Violin. Yeah. Wow. Don't go when you play. I got my Chinese, my Japanese, Chichi, Nastro, and so on. Papa do this so. Yeah. So, okay, before you played, why is it you put your chin on that thing? This is where this part uh-huh. is where you rest your chin. Your chin, yeah. So it's comfortable. Okay. I mean, this thing was not here. I don't think anyone was going to play this thing. Oh. You have to be comfortable when playing this thing. Okay. Otherwise, you So it's totally different from a guitar because when they're <laughs> playing a guitar, they just not even on a chin. Plus, a guitar has six strings mm-hmm. and a violin. Oh, okay. Okay, let's see it. So, I am going to be playing Ocho Joy by Bob Dylan. Okay. I don't know him.
Wow. <laughs> that is amazing. I saw one of um, you know, our production guys, uh, Tam Sangma. He was just like just nodding his head. I'm, I'm sure he knows this song. <laughs> and um, okay, that's the value. I'm sure you can play national anthem, right? Can you? He's still learning, right? But I, I think it, it, it can it will come out better on violin. Okay, then there's what? A recorder. A recorder, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. So uh, there's these small holes there. So I, I saw you you were placing your fingers on all these, right? So is how many? Seven. And you were placing like this. Okay, you're playing. Mm. There are actually nine. Nine. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. If you don't cover um, this hole mm -hmm. fully. Yeah. Oh, so it's to come out, to play a different sound. <laughs> hey, all right, I'm learning new things here. I think we have some misunderstanding about this, how to play all this. Okay, now we can play xylophone. Okay, so on the xylophone, I'll be playing Kanan Nangura by Killer. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Wow. Gonna da you gonna da you So you just have singers yes you look at me just feeling a feeling a bad maybe one more time Gonna da you Go gonna da you Wow wow okay that's how you play the xylophone. Mm, but it, is this instrument common here in Zimbabwe? It's not, right? Mm -hmm. Um, fun fact. Mm -hmm. The xylophone is a bit like the marimba, mm -hmm. but then it's smaller in size, mm -hmm. and the keys are the keys are pitched. Hi. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I could. I could tell. I could hear the ding. Right, ding. Okay, all right. Oh, that's fine. Thank you so much, uh, April, for teaching me new instruments. And uh, the next time I'm, I, I'll see you, I want you to teach me how to play, right? I mean, if you play me at school, mm -hmm. I can teach you more. Oh. I can teach you more if you come. Oh, I would I love that. Come. I would love that. I, I didn't know come. I would love that. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> I also want to be an all rounder, huh? <laughs> not just yeah, a journalist, just, just, not just a presenter, but also you know an artist as well. Thank you so much. So uh, maybe just pull your mic, close your mic. Um, before you go, who do not say hi to? Um, my family. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Um, hi, mom, dad, and Caitlin. I love you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, what a thrilling time we had uh, here on the uh, on the show with the talented and incredible, you know, April Moyo, uh, just 11 years old. But hey, she's gifted. Trust me, she is gifted. Uh, until next time, thank you so much, guys, for watching. And also, don't forget to get hold of us uh, on our uh, email, bookings at all the seven podcast show. And manaya on the way of genius kids, I did tones on one of you show. Ombochi manyo kunog, a Aronagari gifted in academics, uh, also 
uh, music, sports, you know, modeling, robotics, you name them. Magasunu kakunza bana nyuka TV. Kwanas, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye. Every dollar sent home from the diaspora by your loved ones represents their hard work and commitment to ensuring that you're all taken care of. That's why we want to ease their experience and make it more convenient. With Sasai Money Transfer, sending money from the diaspora is free and you receive the money straight into your EcoCash USD wallet, ready for you to spend and cash out for free. That way, you can receive money to help you alleviate the impact of the drought on you and your family. Buy groceries, pay school fees, renew your insurance, pay bills and more within a few taps on your phone. And you're guaranteed access to USD cash from any registered EcoCash outlet nationwide. Tell your family in the diaspora to send money with Sasai Money Transfer today. Let's fight the El Nino induced drought together. EcoCash, live life the EcoCash way. It's the little things that make us giants in our industry. We put in that extra mile of service so your car can go that extra mile of performance. Our aim is to make our stopovers feel like home. Giant Petroleum. Limitless Energy.